Indiana's Attorney General announced 165 sets of baby remains have been found inside a car owned by recently deceased abortionist Ulrich Klopfer, bringing the total number of preserved baby remains discovered at his properties to more than 2,400. This latest news comes nearly one month after authorities first discovered baby remains on Klopfer's Illinois property. The Will County Sheriff's Office discovered the additional remains while searching Klopfer's Mercedes-Benz as part of their ongoing investigation. Those remains are believed to be from abortions Klopfer committed in 2002 at his three Indiana abortion facilities. He was known to be Indiana's most prolific abortionist. To discuss this ongoing case, we spoke recently with Indiana Representative Jackie Walorski, who is calling for a federal investigation into Klopfer. Here is our interview. Representative Jackie Walorski joins us now from Indianapolis, Indiana. Congresswoman, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. First off, what was your reaction upon the horrendous discovery at Ulrich Klopfer's home? I was horrified. I think it's disgusting, but I wasn't the least bit surprised. This guy has been around performing thousands of abortions in the state of Indiana, even when I was back at the Indiana State House, so I was very familiar with him. I thought it was heinous, and more than anything else, I wanted to get to the bottom of it, call for an investigation, and make sure it never happens again. And I wish he hadn't died a month ago. I wish I could see the day that he actually went to prison. For those of us not from Indiana, what should we know about Ulrich Klopfer's time as an abortionist in South Bend and violations involving his clinic? You know, this guy is notorious. For years, he performed what, what we would call chop chop abortions, leaving women um, disfigured, uh, women dying. Um, just horrendous things that happened in our state. And I, I began the search after him when I was in the Indiana State House. And he would come in with, you know, we tried to take his admitting, admitting privileges away in the state of Indiana. We tried to make sure he stayed licensed. We tried to, we, we tried major oversight on him to make sure for the dignity of the women and the child that was involved that we could do everything we could do legally and, and do what we could do to, to put him out of business as well. So I wasn't surprised when they found these 2,200 bottles with formaldehyde and baby parts and baby fetuses in them. I just wasn't surprised. You know, he was a heinous operator. That's one of the reasons why folks like me that are in government want to make sure that we can provide as much oversight on the abortion industry and these abortion doctors as possible, because who would do that? Who would do what he did? Who would have 2,200 bottles on shelves in his house only discoverable by his family upon his death? And I just think it's horrendous. I think that oversight needs to be involved, and I'm going to pursue it at the federal level, and I'm sure my colleagues in the state of Indiana are as well. Vice President Mike Pence, who also hails from Indiana, calls for a full and thorough investigation. Is there any further action you'd like to see from the White House on this? Well, we're already at, at the uh, legislative level bringing down bills. Our senators just brought down a bill that they'll move through the Senate. I'll carry it in the House. And it basically is kind of what Indiana's law is. It basically says that, you know, any abortion that's performed, including chemical, which is really important, that there has to be a tracker in a, in a uh, disposition with dignity, either cremated or buried. And the reason that's important is because here we are today, after all this news, in uh, the city of South Bend, which is a rather infamous city at the moment, there's a chemical abortion facility that's illegal that's running and operating there. And I want to make sure that when we get this law passed, that they as well need to be responsible for what they do with the body parts of a chemical abortion. And they're actually operating illegal today, even despite all the news of Klopfer as a bad operator. And Congresswoman, I want to dig a little bit more into that. As you mentioned, you have urged your state's attorney general to ensure these baby remains were handled with dignity. And you, as Senator Mike Braun, your fellow Indianan, recently introduced the Dignity for Aborted Children's Act to require respectful disposition of the remains of unborn children. Can you speak right. to that and, and speak to why it is so important to treat these babies with such dignity? Yeah, because here's the first question, right? The first question is, what in the world was he doing with these? Was he selling them? Like the big investigation we had a couple of years ago to set this nation on its heels to say they're actually selling baby parts in this country? Was he part of that? Did these babies come from Indiana? Which ones came from where? 
Why in the world was he going to do with those? Why in the world was he saving those? Those are some of the questions that I think are key. Those are some of the questions I think Americans, whether they're pro-life or pro-choice, want to know. This is beyond beyond. This is beyond description. And normal people don't do this. But this abortion doctor with 2,200 of them had a very easy time evidently getting these babies across state lines from different states, a lot of them from the state of Indiana, and now they've been sent right back to Indiana under, under the watchful eye of Indiana Attorney General. There are more questions than answers at this point. And finally, Congresswoman, South Bend Mayor and Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg also said this matter should be fully investigated. And then he followed it up with this. Take a listen. I also hope that it doesn't get caught up in politics at a time when women need access to health care. What is your response to Mayor Buttigieg saying he hopes this doesn't get too political? Well, I can assure you it hasn't. And I can assure you that for Hoosiers in the state of Indiana, as well in my district in, in northern Indiana, in South Bend, this is common sense. There's nothing political about this. This is a common sense distortion. It's a heinous operator of abortions. And all we're trying to do is to make sure in a very common sense way that we get to the bottom of this and make sure it never happens again. And we have a facility, like I said earlier, we have a facility in the city of South Bend right now that's operating illegally with chemical abortions. And we're on that one as well, trying to make sure that they follow the law or they leave the facility. Representative Jackie Walorski of Indiana, thank you for your pro-life leadership. Thank you so much for the invitation.